Rendon is a well-known influencer with an undertake persona but somewhat retarded. He is a motivational speaker, a meme machine, and an absolute brain dead of an influencer. And I only know him because of the meme, which is... Araw-araw pagising ko, alam mo ba? Hindi ako nag-iisip eh. Basta ang alam ko lang, goal ko. Focus. Kahit anong mangyari dito, wala. Wala akong pakainom sa inyo. Pag may taong hindi makakasama, iwan. 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 Kahit pamilya mo pa. He made success of being a meme inside the internet space and made business with his well-known overpriced rice named as Motivational Rice. It costs around 100 pesos and holy shit, you can easily buy 2 kilos of rice with that pricing. And during that time, a lot of content creator tend to steal each other's ideas and call itself content, when in fact, it's blatantly copying somebody one notable I this Mr. Beast clone with a thumbnail and concept of the video is all the same just like this Italian Mr. Beast that copies every single video concept until they crash and kill a child, but I digress. A well-respected content creator and a beloved actor by the name of Michael V aka Bitoy made a post about content creation. In his post, he said, the first thing any content creator should understand the meaning of content, which is true, well, that's the point of making a content if there isn't in the first place. Just like what Uncle Roger said in cooking, All style, no substance. And later, that Rendon responds by saying, And oh boy, Masakit na katotohanan, nalaos kayo. We control the media now. And, Influencers? Are those new celebrities? Kung hindi ninyo kayang makipagtalinuhan sa mga influencers sa pagproduce ng content, manahimik na lang kayo. Mainstream is dead. Social media is the new mainstream. Shit. As you can see, Rendon failed to instigate a fight cause Bitoy didn't respond and why would he respond? He already said his piece. There's no need to elaborate any further and he already proved his point by exposing well quote unquote is exposing Rendon for doing his shitty character to gain attention or in short for clout like what Uncle Roger said all style no substance this is what the problem with the so-called influencers they just feed off with negative clout for easy exposure and there's no need for them to focus on making content because for them being a piece of shit is equivalent to content. Nothing more, nothing less. It's easily comparable with this brain dead TikTok retard stars like Mizi and that Somalian cunt for being racist in the land of Japan. Also, these prank channels like this cunt over here that made this viral prank that sent them straight to police station and they seem proud over their stupidity. Anyways, this video is starting to be off topic and that's all for today's video. If you like it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, yay! Kasi hindi ako nag-iisip eh. Basta ang alam ko lang, goal ko, focus.